we're off to hop in today. Dad got actually got us into first class, so here I am in my own little sort of area. Nice little setup. Not really something I'm too accustomed to. Dumplings, Russian influences, different types of tofu, dim sims in disgustingly cold climate, fresh vegetables. These are the things that I know I've been for. It is bloody cold in Harbin. This is literally the first meal that I have each time I come back. Excuse the gunshots. My grandma's wanting to tell you. Dry tofu, tofu paste, shallots, cucumber, different veggies, coriander. Roll that shit up. Mm. Ready. Ready? Delicious. Ready. Mm. This stuff's actually awesome. It's like pork meat and cornstarch. It's called xiao du. It's super yum. It's really nice. nuts. Pine nuts. There's pine nuts in here? Mm. Oh, really? Mm. Pine nuts. Is it's really gelatinous because of the cornstarch. Very yum. And that's just straight meat, pork, red sausage. Really good. Mm. The next day, we headed to a place across town renowned by locals for its authentic Harbin flavours. Even though it was mid-April, being Harbin, the spring leaves have only just begun to sprout, which is okay because the sky was clear and it was a lovely day. The sky seemed clearer and the air cleaner than I remember. The major industries here since World War II have been coal and electricity, and both have been in decline for some time. Maybe that's why. Who knows? No, oh, and how adorable is my grandma? Instead of a menu, in many places in the north, this is how we order. It's pretty efficient for large groups, so can't really fault it. Here I was minding my own business making a vegetable tofu wrap when I noticed the guobaro on the table and that deserves a special mention, for sure. This is guobaro, it's basically sweet and sour pork, huh? In Sydney it's slimy. Mm. Like, it's not quite sweet, it's not quite sour, but it's sweet and sour. Alright, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. And it's crispy. Yeah. Literally not possible not to have seconds. What's this? Liver? Liver. Intestines. It tastes like guts. <laughs> in a good way. In a good way. We're getting a whole bunch of fish that come straight out of the river in Harbin. Um, I've never actually eaten them before, so see how they taste. Local specialty. It doesn't look like much. Come straight out of the river. The meat's nice, it's pretty delicate, but I think fish is better cooked as little as possible. I prefer sashimi and shit. Listen to this. It's crisp. Moist on the inside, crispy on the outside. Mm. Look at the colors on this table. You can tell the flavors are heavy. Golden beans. Mm. It's really good. It's like flower, flowery. It's really good. So everything here is in season. The beans, the potatoes, the corn. This is made from what? Polenta. Uh -huh. Polenta bread. Mm. Mm. That's awesome. It was roughly at this point I'd realized how much food I'd ingested, and I should probably stop about now.
快去。你快点下来吧。不着急，我我过去，我过去。不是不着急的事儿，要不然我还得我还得揣回去。你快点下来。那那那那哥，你快点给我嫂子下来吧，要不然我还得揣回去。你你这样。Thing about Harbin is it's pretty poor. It's not that much money to go around. So all these old buildings are starting to really look a bit weathered and shit. You know. It's definitely different to the glitz and glamour of Shanghai. Sort of like walking from Sydney straight into an old country town. Everything's a bit dusty. Everything's a bit cute and shit. And I like that. This is home. So this is a hostel. Let's go in and have a look. Definitely looks like it's still. Well, maybe not. Nope. Definitely not. Running as a business anymore. Hey, what floors look pretty rickety. Like it hasn't been upkept for a long time. Feel like a bloody fall through the floorboards at the moment. Let's get down. You do get the sense that they're just trying to be Russian. Like this is a little shop with all babushka dolls. Not really sure how much Russian culture actually remains from the old days. Definitely seems pretty Chinese now. Something that definitely remained and is everlasting、um, in terms of the influence of the Russians here is the sausages. This is the big red sausages. We call it Hongchang here.、Um, what I ate the other night and I showed you is xiaodu. So that's what it looks like. That round football-looking thing. Before you cut it up, and have a look here. The, the little chicken wing tips here in China are absolutely used up, and they're actually not that cheap. So, fully support the sustainability and the fact that we use the whole chicken, the chicken feet right there as well.、Um, and there is a lot of fucking sausage here. Look at the look at the girth on that sausage. Anyway, so this shop that we're in at the moment is was around when my parents were kids, and they could never afford anything in here. So when we drove past, they were like, "Yeah, let's go in. We can actually buy something here now."、And、it smells delicious. This end of the shop that I'm on now is cakes and sweets, and the other end is all meat. Now, after the lunch that we just had, I needed. Pretty damn good reason to eat any more food. I really wish I could have tried three of these desserts, but I simply couldn't. But right around the corner, I found the nostalgic reason I needed. Stoked! I found these. I used to eat these as a kid. It's pretty much just a cake. It's like a Chinese cupcake. There's not really much to it. Don't touch it. Ah, you don't touch it. Ah, you don't touch it. Hmm, no problem. No problem. Definitely better when I was a kid. What about them dear children? Gotta be honest, it's been a pretty cool experience watching mum and dad be able to relive some of their childhood memories and go back to the places that they、um, remember as a kid. Obviously, Harbin being a little bit poorer than somewhere like Shanghai doesn't change as quickly. It's pretty special to be able to watch them recognise some of the stuff、um, from when they were little, including this bridge. It was built by the Japanese in the 1940s. Um, or before the 1940s, actually, and was around when they were kids. When you go to a place that's a little bit poorer than other places, I feel like it's a rite of passage to go into a public toilet and see what you're dealing with. It just helps that I also need to piss. It's actually very clean. Ah. How much? How much? It's a silkworm. Oh, yeah, I'm not. Yeah, we're good. Come to us, young. Tastes like a worm, huh? Like it's not bad. It's good. It's not bad. Hey, young. It's not bad. Yeah, you were. Yeah, you were. It's not bad. Hey, this is good. This is good. Yeah. That was Harbin.